This is probably the most exciting video I've ever made and it is also the hardest I've worked on a video with the filming and editing. Uh, but today I will be telling you about my experience at the Space Gen United Online Congress 2020. <laughs> So let me start off by introducing SGAC. SGAC or the Space Generation Advisory Council is a non-profit organization that works to bring the views of students and young professionals to the attention of the space industry and the United Nations. SGAC membership is open to all and as a member you can participate in their incredible project groups, be a recipient of their scholarships and attend the conferences that they conduct. Speaking of conferences, every year SGAC conducts the Space Gen Congress in collaboration with the International Astronautical Federation in different cities around the world. This year, due to the pandemic, the Congress was conducted virtually and was called as the Space Gen United. Now let's come back to me. I came across this conference, of course, on Instagram and I thought to myself, okay, let's give it a shot, because why not? Now for the selection, as a delegate, the candidate had to actually submit a video answering questions like why they should be selected to be a delegate and what kind of discussions can they bring to the table if they were chosen for the Congress. So I did make a whole entire video, which was I think a minute long, explaining the kind of things that I could contribute to this Congress and by the end of July, I got a mail saying that I was selected to be a part of this congress. That to me was next level. I had never been selected to any sort of congress. I've never even been part of a modern United Nations. So for me, this was big. The SGU 2020 had 150 delegates from over 20 different countries. The entry fee of the congress was $20. And here, I would really like to thank from the bottom of my heart, Paris, for sponsoring my entry into the OHB workshop of the Space Gen United. So within the Congress, there are seven workshops sponsored by companies like Lockheed Martin and OHB as well as agencies like NASA and ESA. Throughout the duration of nine days, these workshop groups would meet a couple of times to work and try and solve some of the problems in their assigned domains. Also as a part of the Congress were keynotes, mixing sessions, coffee hours, trivia night. So I'll walk you through most of the days where I filmed and something really interesting happened. Okay, now for the SGU, uh, they sent us a lot of reading material, a calendar, an entire drive. Also, Slack was created so that all the members could be up to speed with exactly what is going on through the Slack and the social medias. The calendar had all of the events, the keynotes, as well as the control point sessions for the individual workshop. <music> so day one basically was the opening ceremony. Uh, they talked about the SGU and the SGAC. They had a very nice uh, mixing session where they would put some of us in a separate breakout room via Zoom and everybody would just get to know each other and talk about the things that they're working on and what they're doing. It was the end of day one of the SGU. Uh, it was amazing. I have never met such a brilliant group of individuals who are so interested in space and I got to see a very different perspective on everything that is uh, space missions, commercialization of space. It was a very long day but I am so happy that uh, I get to be a part of this. It's gonna be a great great experience I can already tell. So yeah, it's the end of day one. So leading up to my uh, OHB uh, session, basically I was working on a workshop for commercialization of outer space and my team's topic in particular was exploitation of celestial resources. So we did a detailed analysis on which uh, celestial uh, resources can be exploited, particularly with asteroid mining and that is the work that we did for the workshop. Other than that, we had lots of meetings with the other groups within the workshop as they shared their takes on commercialization of space. Today was day 5 of the workshop. It's pretty late in the night right now. Um, we had an amazing control point session uh, where we discussed all of our previous meetings. We presented one of our proposals and we went on to discuss and talk about uh, newer problems and newer subjects on our particular domain which I think I'm going to elaborate more in the main video. But yeah, it was great. Uh, it, was an experience, uh, it was an incredible experience. I got to work with a very nice team. And then there was the keynote by Dan Hart, who is the CEO of Virgin Orbit. It was incredible, super inspiring. Uh, it's crazy to think how humble and giving these people are, even though they're at such exceptional heights. And I don't think I've ever learned this much. 
like the past five days all i'm doing is learning new things and it's unlocking all these new possibilities for me so for the last two days we had a final presentation for our workshop where we shared all the work that was done by us throughout the nine days the keynote sessions were from Paul Anderson who is working on the human landing system and Dan Hart who is the CEO of Orbit other companies like Planet also had their separate keynotes and presentations where they shared all of the exciting things that they are working on and just like that the SGU finally came to an end this is a picture of me and my workshop group who's speaking at the end of the workshop Okay, so that was my experience at the Space Jet United 2020. If you're really interested in the space industry, I would 100% recommend becoming an SGAC member. I will be linking their website in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, that's it from my side. Consider subscribing and I will see you next week. Bye.